Market phases or market trends are related back to one of the basic themes of Dow theory. And the way that traders are in touch with the bullishness or bearishness of the market has to do with the way they gauge the trend of the market. In terms of a trend, there's a tre identifying a trend is extremely subjective. You could look at connecting the higher highs of an uptrend and, and drawing an uptrend line. You could look at connecting the uh, higher, uh, the lower highs of a downtrend and, and connect those dots to create a downtrend. But the bottom line is what we're looking at in terms of a trend, how we're defining it, is oftentimes very subjective. Is an uptrend merely the culmination of higher highs and higher lows? Is a downtrend merely the culmination of lower lows and, and lower highs? How do we identify these with some sort of consistency? And the market trend discussion is what led me to try to find a tool that would allow me to, to answer this in a visual way, and that is via the 34 EMA wave and grab candles. But let's talk about the actual phases right now and how we define them. So the first one is the markup. Markup is merely an uptrend. It's the culmination, of course, of higher lows. And I focus on the higher lows because an uptrend to me is really support. We also have a markdown or a downtrend. And if an uptrend is a series of higher lows, then a downtrend is a series of lower highs. In other words, the resistance of that push lower. So there are four phases. Two of them are trends. And we've just discussed them. The other two are sideways phases where there is no dominant bullish or bearish psychology and therefore we're stuck in some sort of range. But depending upon the width of the range and the volatility of the range, you end up with one of two different phases. You have accumulation on one hand which is a narrow sideways range, usually lower in volatility. It's often referred to as consolidation. You also have a more volatile, wider range. That's called distribution, often also called congestion. So again, two different types of sideways phases. Understanding which is which is very important. Don't be lazy about this distinction because in congestion, when there's a wider, more volatile range that we call distribution, the distribution phase, prices tend to exhaust at the ceiling and floor of the range. Contrast that to consolidation or the accumulation market phase where breakouts and breakdowns tend to rule that particular environment where once price are able to get above resistance or below support, follow through tends to, tends to come. So those are the four phases. We want to make sure we can identify them and we do that using the 34 EMA wave along with grab candles. And we have a separate video dedicated to how I actually do this in the market.